welcome. This is going to be a video lesson on cell types. There are two types of cells. One is going to be called a prokaryotic cell. One is going to be called a eukaryotic cell. Um, there are four cells labeled A, B, C, and D on the screen. Are you able to pick out which one belongs to the prokaryotic and which one belongs to the eukaryotic? Well, I hope by the end of the video that you will be able to answer this question correctly. So let's get started. The first question you have to ask is, does the cell have a nucleus? Eukaryotic cells will have a nucleus and prokaryotic cells won't. So yes, it does. If yes, it does, it's a eukaryotic cell. If no, it doesn't. Um, it's a prokaryotic cell. As you can see, it's a membrane bound nucleus. Here we have a membrane around our our genetic material here, it's just hanging out there. The next question you would ask is about cell size. Typically speaking, as we uh, look at the, the, the cell side to side, prokaryotic cells are going to be much smaller than eukaryotic cells. So this one, because it's bigger, is going to be a eukaryotic cell, or we'd guess that it is, and those would be the prokaryotic cells. So cell size, um, eukaryotic cells bigger, prokaryotic cells much smaller. We can also look at just the overall complexity of the cell. Eukaryotic cells are usually much larger because they have lots more uh, membrane bone organelles and, and cell parts within it. Uh, so you'll see all the different membranes and different active parts within that cell. Uh, prokaryotic cells are much, uh, much more simple. Uh, they, are, they have an outer covering. Uh, some ribosomes floating around and, and some genetic material inside, and that's pretty much it. So in terms of overall complexity, eukaryotic cells are really complex. Prokaryotic cells are pretty simple. So what organisms would you find, uh, where would you find these cells? Uh, eukaryotic cells or prokaryotic cells in plants? There are, there are going to be examples of eukaryotic cells. Uh, bacteria, prokaryotic cells. Animals, eukaryotic cells. So let's take a look at the three pictures on the screen and, and try to decide if they're prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Uh, let's look at the, the upper left-hand one. Uh, if we ask ourselves the first question, does it have a nucleus? And uh, if we look closely, it doesn't. It has the DNA without a, a membrane around it, which would indicate a nucleus. Uh, looks small, although we'd have to have another cell to compare it to. Um, it isn't very complex. It definitely would belong to the prokaryotic. Um, this cell what type of cell is this again first question does it have a nucleus it doesn't have a membrane around its uh, dna so we'd almost say it will belong to the prokaryotic um, if we could be able to compare its size overall complexity obviously um, we would be able to label that as prokaryotic and this one uh, does it have a nucleus sure enough it does uh, the complexity looks um, very complex has other membrane bone cell parts um, it also is uh, looks like a, a fairly large cell, um, but we'd have to have something to compare that to. Here again, um, that is our eukaryotic cell. And that brings us to the end of this real quick video lesson on prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell types. Um, again, it, uh, we started off by asking the question, could you pick out the prokaryotic cell? Could you pick out the eukaryotic cell? Um, so uh, that's where we're end it. Uh, go back and take a look at your notes and see if you can pick out um, what, what's what on this diagram.